Hello literature lovers. Today, as you can see, I am discussing the woman in white. First of all, we should like to talk about, talk about Milky Collins. He is an English novelist, playwright, short story writer, very famous for Women in White and The Moonstone. That is my favorite. He also called the first modern English novelist, so detective novel in fact. So we can call him the first modern English detective novelist. So it's very important, and his favorite, one of my personal favorite, is the Moonstone, and I would really like to refer you this one. It's a really beautiful work, and you must take into consideration, and. His works are really, you can talk about the detectiveness in it. So, just filled with it. I'm talking about his work, and that is we are discussing here is the woman in white. It is his fifth published novel, published in eighteen fifty nine, and it is considered to be the first mystery novel. It's one of the first, you know, finest, and the genre he is using here is the sensational novels. So you can see it is also quite important that it is a sensational novel, and you can see it's very famous, and it is a great example of early detective fiction. And here the protagonist name is Walter Hartwright, you know. Employing many of the sleuthing techniques or later private detective techniques, you know, they there. So you can see uh, how multiple narrators are being used here. It's one of the peculiar qualities, and he also points out his resemblance of the story. You now presenting will be told by many or more than you know one pen. As the story of an offence against the laws is told by, told in court by more than one witness, so it is really recognized. It is considered to be the top hundred greatest novels of all time. It is also in the BBC list, so you can see the themes here is really one of a kind, and. The theme of the story is the unequal position of married women in law at that time, and the it has been neglected by his uncle and of the twenty thousand pounds. So all these things are there, and it is dedicated his novel to Bran Proctor. This point is very important. As it is dedicated to Brand Proctor, so you can call it to be in that case. And who is a poet also, and he was inspired by the case of Lu Luisa Nortridge, who was abducted in prison for the monetary convenience of her family, and women could be imprisoned in. Lunatic asylums, if they become embarrassing or inconvenient to their husbands or fathers, so in addition, before the passage, the Married Women's Property Act, eighteen eighty two, all of the wives' assets pass automatically to her husband. So you can see how the storyline is about, and it was quite. Extremely, you know, successful commercially, but although contemporary critics were generally hostile about this novel, so it happens in most of the times. Yeah, although modern critics and readers regard it as Collins' best novel, so you can see this is a right time to go through it, and it is very interesting. And in fact. In a view, we can say as it is one of the his novels named in his chosen epitaph, author of *The Woman in White* and other works of fiction. So, 
you can see how this work is so considered that it is written on the epitaph of the author so you can clearly talk about it and I'm talking about the adaptations that are related to it and it was adapted in theater and television too it's in in a silent film 1912 then another movie 1917 there was also british as well as austrian silent movies related to it there are many versions russian version is also there the most precise would be the bbc tv series that was in 1997 that will give you a better picture of it and you can get a glimpse of it and later on also there was a 2018 version of it and it was also adapted by for the bbc version is so all these things are there related to it so you can see how this work is so great in fact there is also a computer game naming victorian mysteries we may invite uh, it was created in 2010 so it's really enriching the popularity of the work and you can really feel how this work is so great and so many references are there related to it that you cannot summarize it in short time this work really calls for all the love related to it uh, publishing date in fact is 1859 26 november so that is the publishing date it's in english mystery as well as sensational novel so all the things are being to be considered here related to it all of it and it's really great author's great work and contribution and in fact after his first novel he met charles dickens who became a close friend and mentor so you can see how the things are progressing charles dickens became the mentor of wilkie collins so that really calls of something special is about to happen in his life and in fact some of the collins word appeared first in dickens journal uh, all the years round and household words and they collaborated on drama and fiction so when you have a glimpse of such a great author you know, how can you write anything less than great Collins achieved financial stability and international following with his best works in 1860s and but began suffering from gout and taking opium for the pain grew into a, an addiction so you can see opium is there in the life of these authors and really related to problems in 1870s and 80s his writing quietly declined with his health so it's part of it and collins was critical of the institution of marriage he splits his time between karen grays and his common law wife martha with whom he had three children it's part of his glimpse of his life and we can talk about it that his father was a landscape painter so we can have that art is somewhere in his blood it's a part of it and talking about colin schooling it was at maidwell academy so you can have it as a glimpse of where he attended and how he was there and 
most of the time we find it that the health issues are there and the authors are somewhere far from being achieving the success but it is followed by some great instances and hard topics that really matters in the work some of his other famous works that can be talked about is all the round years and so many works are being discussed and i also refer you to read the moonstone which really marked a point in detective stories and t s eliot also said the first and the longest and the best of modern english detective not detective novels in a genre invented by collins not not by poe so we can see how his works are being praised by such a great poet and talking about this structure it is an episodic novel so it is of that kind that really works for it and to nina that is his first work and next comes vessel it's also quite famous the frozen deep and all the works marked a point and related to it house to let in the haunted house and no name armadale and the moonstone man and wife all his works really marked how great his following is and adaptations are part of it so it's being discussed that the black robe jezebel's daughter the fallen leaves all of it are being discussed in great detail the work is being part of no name in other work published 1862 no trophy it's a story and a play and co-written by charles dickens that is very important published 1867 so this really marks a point the evil genius is another work 1885 most adopted work here is both the women in white and the moonstone so no question about it that why this work is so famous and we can find out easily how he really achieved all of this and their biographer melissa who biograph became a biographer of his talked about uh, how the novels were published in 60s were the best because of his good health but later on since his health declined because of his illness the portion is just got struck with the health issues so it is quite normal and even though he was really and good at it later on he traveled germany italy for his health and his biographers revered all the works that he authored with how he talked about it in his the story is great you can read it clearly how his works are being uh, another work and it was published in the death year of charles dickens is man and wife it is published 1870s and 
calling us another work poor miss finch it was serialized later on so you can talk about it how great it mark the point in the portions you are can read here the work women in white has a great portion here, here and it's being discussed in great detail so it will really help you in better understanding of the work Collins also was part of American works and when he went for a visit he met Mark Twain and their friendship began so you can see how great it must have been to be a friend of Mark Twain my personal favorite author it would really be a great wonder to be part of his works and talking about his later on works the black robe science heart and science and some other works related to it would have really gained it importance and his instances his last novel was blind love and which was finished by it was finished posthumously by Walter Besson and later on published as co-author Collins died at the age of 82 and paralytic stroke and he was buried in Kelson Green West London so again as we have discussed his epitaph talked about it that he is the author of white the work we am focusing right now and how he lived with his daughter Harriet and Caroline came from humble family His personal life is also a bit controversial but at that period you know it never mattered much in his lifetime. This is the work. For the last 20 years of his life Collins divided uh, his time between Caroline and whom he lived with him as his home in Gloucester and Martha who was nearby and like his friend Charles Dickens Collins was a professing Christian so we can talk about his works he has some issues for it like for example in 1854 hide and seek contain one of the first portrayals of a deaf character in English literature. So we can talk about the peculiarities. He was the one who was able to portray a deaf character in a novel and as did many writers of his time, Collins published most of his novels as serials in magazines such as Dickens did. Uh, so that really was part of his plan and it all worked quite the Lighthouse is a work which is also a melodrama loosely based on Collins' 1853 short story Gabriel's Marriage but set in Addistone Lighthouse of December 1750, 1748. It was there in it that really talked about it. And in my Collins sent a finished play to Dickens 
who enthusiastically took over the production. These are some of the things that really mattered in Colin's life and became part of it. I hope you must have got an overall idea about his works, how great his life was and how he managed to pull off all these things in a better perspective. His works really, especially the that secret 1856 After Dark, a short story collection. Thanks for being part of it. Thank you.